Hello friends, welcome back to Shindy's Kitchen Creations Season's Greetings and Merry Christmas to you all. I hope you are all doing well. To my new subscribers, thank you. And to my regular watchers, thank you for always coming back. On the menu today, I'm going to be trying out this Jamaican sorrel cake. So let's get started. Okay friends, so here's our ingredients. I have here two sticks of unsalted butter. I have some eggs, my pureed sorrel flour, sugar, my um, pureed mixed fruits, then I have my almond extract, rose water, vanilla extract. I have um, in here is nutmeg, ginger, cinnamon, and also some salt, some mace, and some baking powder, ginger powder. If you're wondering what mace is, mace is the outer shell of the nutmeg. So this is a whole nutmeg if you've never seen one before. And on the outside there is the mace and it's a great flavoring as well. So let's get started making this sorrel cake. All right, so into our bowl, we've put two cups of, I mean two sticks of butter and in here is one cup of sugar. Now you can add more sugar if you want it to be sweeter. I would suggest you add a maybe one and a half cups of sugar in total. So I'm gonna go ahead and whisk this until it's fluffy. Okay, so after adding in all your eggs and whisking to fluffy, give it a stir and then we're going to go in here and add our other ingredients. So I'm going to start with the rose water. Um, if you didn't have this, this is fine. You'll just want to double up on your vanilla and just a little bit goes a long way. So I'm using here like a half a teaspoon and then I'm going to go in here and use my almond extract and the same thing goes. That is my ginger extract and uh, my almond extract same goes small amount a little bit goes a long way so i'm adding in half a teaspoon as well next is gonna be our pure vanilla extract and i'm gonna go in here with a teaspoon of that there you go go ahead and give that a gentle stir and then we're gonna go in now and add our flour and our other dry spices and I'm gonna go ahead and wait and um, sift these in but if you pre-sifted your flour that'll be fine too Go ahead and give it a quick stir, a gentle stir. Just um, fold in the flour with the rest of the ingredients. And we don't want to over mix it here because we're looking for tender cakes. Then I'm going to go in here and add our um, pur pureed sorrel and our fruit puree as well. Alright, so this is um, the sorrel puree. So what I did was... Um, soaked the dry sorrel that I have here in about one cup of water so this is about two heaping cups of um, dried sorrel that I soaked in water and it's been soaking for about three days not purpose it's just I just didn't get around to making the cake so I kept it in the fridge and then I just went ahead and pureed it and if you had fresh sorrel you wouldn't need to keep it for that long so I'm um, just rehydrating it and then going ahead and using it so I'm just giving this a stir now and then I'm gonna go in here and add the fruits as well um, and the fruit has a little bit of rum in there because it's rum soaked fruits and then I'm just gonna give this a stir and in the meantime you want to go ahead and preheat your oven 
250 degrees you want to keep this very low and so that it cooks gently and slow so this is my um, pureed fruits and what this is is just raisins and prunes I'm using the golden raisins and the regular raisins and prunes so this is about one cup of pureed mixed fruits with um, wine all right so I've prepared my two pans these are some very small pans uh, they're probably six inches I have buttered and floured them so that the cake will come out now I'm just gonna go ahead and put equal amount of batter in each one so I'm gonna be using a one cup measure to help me I'm just gonna use my offset spatula just to smooth the tops out. Tap them here. Oops. Exactly. So if you don't have a F, um, offset spatula, just go ahead and tap them out and that gets all of the ear out, bring it to the surface. So, setting them there. So I'm gonna go ahead and place these into my 250 degree preheated oven and we're gonna see just how long they take to cook, to bake. So I'm gonna at least check on them at the 45 minutes interval but I'll tell you exactly how long it takes. So I'll see you in a few. So here it is friends, um, it's baked and it's out the oven, it's still warm but I'm cutting into it and I know it's not set up nicely yet but I want to let you guys see. So here we go. So here it is friends, the moment of truth, my very first Jamaican sorrel cake and it doesn't seem like it's going to disappoint at all. I know the proof is in the taste. So friends, you want to go ahead and give this a try. It's pretty easy. You have all the ingredients around. Look at that beauty. Mm -mm -mm. Thanks so much for watching, friends. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, and comment. And let me know how you like this cake. And if you're going to give it a try. Thank you so much. See you on the next one. Bye now. Merry Christmas.